Hello everyone, um, I'm back from holidays so I'm going to be uh, starting to make videos again. Uh, what I want to focus on mainly is kind of continuing the tutorial series I've been doing because over the holidays many people asked me if I could carry them on and stuff. So obviously people care about them so what I'm going to be doing is slowly doing a few videos for every series and probably going to keep doing that. But right now I just want to show you guys a game I've been creating before I went on holiday called Blazing Orc. So far I've got a single player version and a multiplayer version of it. So I'm going to show you the multiplayer one first. And also I've received a new mic so you can probably tell the difference if you go from this video to another one. The quality from this mic is a lot better. Which is good, I like that. So I'm just going to start um, Smart Fox. I might do a tutorial on how to do a, a multiplayer server with a, well, a multiplayer game with Smart Fox. It wasn't that hard actually. You just have to understand how Smart Fox work and how how it connects to Unity and how Unity connects to it. You know, so with someone guiding you, I'm pretty sure you can get the hang of it pretty quickly. I got the hang of it by reading a few tutorials, but you know, it didn't take that long. So here you go. I've started the server here, and I know it started because um. Well, I guess these messages come up here and it says Smart Fox is ready and it's binded to a, a listening socket. If it doesn't bind to it, it's not going to work. That's probably because if it doesn't bind to one, it's probably because you've got another server um, already on. If you're watching this and you're trying to figure this out, then uh, it's probably a service because you can install Smart Fox as a service and you wouldn't know if it's up or not. So I'm just going to type in a quick username and like a 1234 password. I'm gonna log in and then this is the um, I'm not done but I get the screen that comes up here I can uh, use these menus so I've got my player sheet got my inventory whoops got my inventory uh, casting bar which is kinda glitchy that all will be fixed because um, it's not like a single player game all these configurations instantiate a player instead of just put him in the game the way you want him and I usually deactivate these objects and reactivate them and when you spawn a player instantiate him it doesn't save that these are meant to be closed or not so that's what happens so I'm gonna do a random one log in with this guy and there we go look at that let me just close that there we go now I got that player and you can see right here whoops as I move by it's a bit glitchy because I'm trying to upload a video down here glitchy I mean laggy but it still works now what I found cool is that I managed to get him to equip items and stuff and you let me go right here again let it jump there we go so if you look at the player on the left bottom screen here as I equip items it actually equips it on him Like that. See that? I found that really cool. And also on your player character sheet, your strength and armor actually increases as you put them on. You can remove them again and it decreases. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can exit the game and the same thing happens if you do it with this player. So yeah, that's my progress with that game. Uh, project 6. Uh, no, this is not what I wanted to do. I want to. I want to go to project five, build. Actually, let's go in Dropbox. Blazing Orc. There we go. So this version of the game is actually on the web player, and I will be putting the link if you want to try it. Uh, the single player version of the game I will not be making a tutorial on how to do it because um, it's a basic RPG tutorial you need and there's hundreds of them around so this version is a lot less laggy and a lot less glitch added a few bees down there there's a few demons I'm adding a turtle 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 yeah there's spells and stuff and these NPCs actually drop items which I found pretty cool when I did it it took me about a month to create the game and uh, 
there's the casting bar which is actually working here and they do damage effects and stuff I can punch him there we go kind of blows up in a spiral of skulls there's a helmet there's a few coins you increase your coins your gold amount you can add this stuff and now when I go and fight them I'll be a lot stronger there's a, a shield as you can see right now he does damage if I put the shield up nothing goes on I can heal myself nice little effects there I didn't create I actually did not create anything here except for the code there we go I got a weapon now I either bought everything or downloaded everything for free off a uh, turbo squid I'm not a designer I don't create I'm not an artist I'm a programmer so that's all I do but if you guys have know anyone that does this stuff I'd, I'd be very happy to uh to speak to them because I want people to do animations to increase the way the game looks and stuff so yeah that's pretty much it for this game and um, that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching and um, bye bye uh, where is it